Shark Tale is, uh, is something. In 2004, DreamWorks birthed the completely original idea of talking fish in the name of Shark Tale. A very clever name if I do say so myself, because tale can not only mean the tale of a fish, or the tale as in a story. It's the first pun of many to come for this movie. Not too long after, Shark Tale got nominated for the Best Animated Film for the Oscars, alongside some indie films like, you know, The Incredibles and Shrek 2. Nothing too big time. But anyway, by the sounds of it, getting an Oscar nomination and having stellar fish puns, you'd think that Shark Tale would be a home run for the viewers. I mean, only the Monsters of Society and maybe Danny DeVito don't like fish puns. But no, Shark Tale isn't liked at all. Quite the opposite, actually. People really did like Shark Tale for some reason. And of course, there are various reasons as to why that is, and I will get into that. But for me, for what it was, I kinda enjoyed Shark Tale. I mean, I even once played the Shark Tale GameCube game for all that's worth, but I'm pretty sure it was pirated, so uh, forget I said that. Anyway, for today's video, I'm gonna go against the tide and explain why Shark Tale is good, at least for me, and is not deserving of the overwhelming hate that it gets by the people. I might very well not be successful in my endeavor, but it was a thought that counts, okay? Shut up. So I've seen a lot of people kinda rag on the first few minutes of the movie, and by a lot of people I mean like two max, but still, I get it. The start of the film is kinda inconsistent all over the board. Oscar's day starts off pretty normal, he gambles, he feeds his pet snail, oh wait wrong show. Anyway, fast forward, the shark fiasco happens. The problem I've seen brought up is the fact that in this scene, the movie is clearly trying to show that Oscar got famous overnight, as the saying goes. You can tell cause the billboard that we saw before right there never changes in the next scene, leading us to believe that everything that we just saw happened quite fast. And by everything, I mean movies, video game deals, insert other celebrity stuff for Oscar, and so on. Now the problem with that is that video games and movies take longer than overnight to be done. Actually, they take several years, if not even more. Of course, I'm using human time as a reference. Maybe fish have really fast and efficient fins, but regardless, the scene feels inconsistent. It wasn't explicitly said how long it took Oscar to become famous, but for sure the movie made it look like it was almost instant, which is obviously not realistic. And even if you say that it's just the same billboard and a long time has passed, say about a year, because the billboard says Tuna History Month and Tuna History Month can only happen once a year, I presume time also passes the same for fish, then that means that Oscar has been able to keep the secret that he isn't a shark slayer and didn't really kill Frankie for over a year, which literally damages one of the smaller messages of the movie, which is that lies will eventually be found out. Well, a year would have passed and the lie would still be intact for Oscar, which would really hinder the message in my opinion. At this point in time, I would give a counter-argument to my own point and explain why the director chose to make it seem as though Oscar rose to fame in a day while it would realistically take many years. But there isn't a counter-argument. The director didn't make a big brain move. The movie just fucked up. And unfortunately, Shark Tale is riddled with similar inconsistencies throughout itself. And me trying to rebuke them would make me look like an even dumber person than I already am. And if you're wondering what those inconsistencies are, I linked the video to Shafrilla's Productions, even though it has millions of views, but if you want to know those inconsistencies, it's in the description below. And so, Shark Tale has a lot of problems, and it could be so much better. I hear that, and I agree. Therefore, instead of making this video a responsive critique as to why Shark Tale is objectively good, I'm gonna speak from the perspective of a viewer. A viewer who first watched Shark Tale all those years back and had an absolute blast. And also played the video game, but once again, we don't talk about that. In the end of the day, movies aren't made to be critiqued, but rather enjoyed, and I enjoyed Shark Tale from start to finish when I first watched it. It was a fun time that I don't regret. Thus, from this point on, I'm gonna speak as a fan and not as an analysis person. Before we actually get into it for real this time, if you're not subscribed to the channel, which you probably aren't, I please beg you to subscribe. I, I'm literally begging you to subscribe because more exciting things are coming. You know, I'm gonna talk about more stuff. Please subscribe. Back to the video. 
When I first watched Shark Tale, I came in expecting a fun tale with fish. Nemo was a very fun experience for me already by then, so I had relatively high hopes coming into Shark Tale, and I'm happy to say it met my expectations. Maybe not yours, but it definitely did mine. The characters in Shark Tale for one are all super fun characters. You have Don who is a quintessential New York gangsta, you got Lenny who is a progressive shark in the fact that he doesn't eat meat but is rather a vegetarian, you got Angie who is a sweetheart, Sykes is cool too, and there's a bunch more fun characters, Lola. Of course, this is not mentioning an absolute stacked cast that's actually playing all these characters. Angelina Jolie, Robert De Niro, Jack Black, Renee Zellweger, Martin Scorsese for some reason also acted in Shark Tale and it's actually the only animated movie he's actually ever acted in, so that's weird but a fun fact I guess. Lastly you'd notice I left out Oscar who is played by none other than Will Smith. This I will say was a weird casting at the time but now with events of recent, Oscar mind you, Oscar is the perfect character Will Smith could have played. Now, I know having good characters doesn't instantly equate to a great movie, but I genuinely love the characters in Shark Tale. Especially Lenny was my favorite. The fact that Lenny is a strict vegetarian going against the norm of all his shark companions in a very judgmental society is a very funny yet somehow relevant topic that is not nearly appreciated enough. Whoever had the idea of the beautiful Lenny is honestly an absolute legend. Any other shark media I've seen, which is surprisingly a lot for some reason, sharks are portrayed as vicious animals. Even in Nemo, that is the case. The shark in Nemo was used for an intense moment and that's really it. They're always just used as a villain character. So for Shark Tale, aka a story about sharks, to give multiple sharks different personalities instead of just being, you know, vicious animals against the main character was a fun yet unique touch that I don't really see people talk about. I dare say that no other animated movie I've watched, no wait, ever, no other animated movie ever created portrays sharks as beautifully and individualistically as Shark Tale does. Shark Tale had good sharks, bad sharks, vicious sharks, New York accent sharks, and vegetarians, instead of just being, you know, dumb or vicious like the sharks in Nemo. And of course, that's not fair on Nemo because Nemo isn't a story about sharks, unlike Shark Tale, but it's just the fact that Shark Tale actually does what it says in the title. It's a story about sharks and they actually portray sharks in a way that I really enjoyed. It was funny, yet somehow relatable at times, which was weird because sharks are not supposed to be relatable, but they were and that's why I really love the sharks. And I guarantee that no one you'll watch on YouTube are gonna keep talking about sharks for this long in Shark Tale, but I genuinely love the sharks the most in this movie and, and that's, that's my choice, so fuck you. On the topic of comedy and Shark Tale being funny, a very nice transition by me, Shark Tale has really good puns. Look no further than this one single image. This one image might just be the most punful image in all of mankind, or I guess fish kind if you're going with the root of puns, I guess whatever. Look at all, just, just look at the puns. We got Coral Cola, Fish King, Old Wavy, Gup, and so much more that I made an entire list in the description that says all the puns and their meanings. So check that out, I guess. I know it would be really dumb for me to say that Shark Tale is good because it has puns in it, but I'm gonna say it. Shark Tale was good because it had funny puns in it. I appreciated the puns and the effort of actually putting them in little places throughout the movie. Because let's be honest, most people aren't gonna notice half the visual puns that were put in. Not to mention 2004 video quality isn't that great either. I know for a fact because I didn't notice the first time I watched it and I bet you most people won't either. Also, just the puns just add a little bit more rewatchability in a movie that's otherwise a pretty straightforward one-time watch in my opinion. Not to say that that's a bad thing or anything, because some of my favorite video games ever I can only experience once because of how they were made. Great things don't have to have infinite reusability to be great. But Shark Tale is rewatchable and the puns add that little bit more oomph that I love. I'm not saying oomph ever again. F All 
Alright, to round whatever this video was in a nice way, I'm gonna talk from the heart. This entire time I've been reading off a script that I wrote, but now it's gonna be a fully candid talk between you and me, alright? Shark Tale is a very fun watch, but is there a lot of problems and things that could be changed to make it better? Of course there are. There's apparent problems all over the movie, and I can't dispute any of them, because they're there and they can ruin your experience if you let them. But for me, watching it for the first time, the second time, the third time, Shark Tale was a blast, and I didn't let those problems ruin the movie for me. I could have if I wanted to, but they weren't big enough where I thought that, wow, this movie sucks because fucking hell, it has good fish puns, alright? In my last video or the first video I've ever made on this channel, I talked about how How to Train Your Dragon is the perfect trilogy in my opinion. And I can absolutely die on a hill talking about why How to Train Your Dragon is perfect and anyone who says otherwise is stupid, but for Shark Tale, I can't do that. There's a lot of problems, and if you say you don't like it, there's nothing I can say that will make you change your mind in my opinion. But for me at least, it was a blast and it was a fun movie with fun characters and has a well enough message in the end. Nowadays I feel like people expect movies made by like DreamWorks, Disney, Pixar to be some kind of tear-jerking deep messaged movies, but they don't have to be. They can just be fun for the sake of being fun. Shark Tale is that example. It's not anything that leaves you pondering after watching it, but it makes you happy while watching it, at least for me at least. Shark Tale kinda reminds me of one of my favorite film trilogies of all time, which is Hangover. Not in the sense that it's the same plot or anything, but the fact that the Hangover series is also a series that are just fun to watch in that moment. They're nothing special or have any sort of depth whatsoever after the fact. You just watch them and you enjoy it, and that's it. That's the same thing. That's Shark Tale, baby. It's just a very fun movie with fun characters, in a fun world, and with, most importantly, with a lot of fun fish puns. So good fish puns. Anyway, that ends whatever this video was. I know it was a weird one, and I'm sorry, but I just wanted to talk about Shark Tale. I just, I don't know why, but I did. Alright, have a great day, eat a cookie, and subscribe. Bye.